Parenting Secret Sauce. Parenting Secret Sauce. This is the fifth part of the five part series that I've been talking about all week long in going back to school. Giving you some tips on how do you deal with the kids going back to school from kindergarten to college, from kindergarten to college. Good morning, everybody. It's time for Morning Man. I got a word for you. Thank you for uh, permitting me to have an impartation into your life today. And uh, I do want to end strong this week, want to end up strong this week. and want to talk about parenting secret sauce. There's a secret sauce to parenting, and I want to just share that with you. Uh, but before I do, just want to greet a couple of people and get right into the word right after that. Good morning, Laverne. Good morning, Angela. How are you all on this morning? Maybell, how are you? Uh, how is everything? Hope you're looking forward to a good weekend. I hope you're looking forward to a good weekend. I hope you're going to church or watching church, somebody's church. Good morning, Yvonne. How are you on this morning? What are your plans on this weekend in addition to church? <laughs> How about that? Uh, it's Friday. It's Friday, and I'm glad to be here, uh, a part of your Friday. Good morning, Carolyn, Laverne, Verena. How are you all on this morning? Good morning, Brenda. How are you on this morning? Look, if it's your first, second, or third time joining us this morning, please let us know who you are and where you are so we can shout you out. So we can shout you out. James, Anna, how are you all on this morning? Just want to kind of let you know uh, that we're glad that you are a part. Now, I'm going to give you the text talk takeaway. If you're a man of fam, you already know what I'm going to say. Then what you need to do then is share the manna. Do not keep it to yourself. Don't keep it to yourself. This morning, I'm going to be talking about parenting secret sauce, the secret sauce of parenting. So I want to dive into uh, on this morning. Well, uh, this morning, uh, I asked you, what are you doing on this weekend? Let me just give you a little bit of what I'm doing, and then I'm going to get right into the word. Uh, I have to speak tomorrow at a racial reconciliation men's retreat uh, in Lake Geneva, uh, Wisconsin. I'll be back for church, of course, going up and back, uh, but I'm looking forward to that. Pray for me that I might be able to speak truth and life into those men with respect to racial reconciliation. Okay, let's get right into the word this morning. Uh, this morning is the text of Talking the Takeaway, talking about the secret sauce of parenting, the secret sauce of parenting, and here it is. Here's the secret sauce, uh, Deuteronomy 6, Four through nine, Deuteronomy six four through nine. Let me give you the context of the text, and then I'll read the text. The context of the text is this: Deuteronomy is the book that is prior to Joshua, in which they go into the promised land. Deuteronomy is the book in which it is the entire book is Moses' last sermon to the children of Israel. He is preparing them to go into the promised land. The sixth chapter and verses four through nine is really one of the hearts of this sermon. And I need to read the whole thing. Typically, I don't read this much, but I want you to grab this. This is the heart of the sermon, if you will. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God. The Lord is one. God is one. That was very different during that biblical time because they had people who will worship multiple gods. The children of Israel said their God is one. Love the Lord your God, the fifth verse, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Remember, Jesus says, this is the greatest of all commandments. Watch this. These commandments that I give you today are to be upon your hearts. Now watch what happens here. Impress them on your children. Wow. Wow. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Not just that, tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. I know you've been traveling before, maybe depending on where you live, where there may be a preponderance a lot of Orthodox Jews. If you see that, or if you're traveling, you will see Orthodox Jews with a prayer cloth around them underneath, it's men especially, underneath their clothing, white shirt, black uh, suit, black hat, 
and you will see a little phylacteric right on their head and a strap that is around their arms. That's what they're talking about. In that little box, in that little box is this verse. Hear, O Israel, the Lord God is one. Now love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Now I want you to catch this. Here is the secret sauce for parenting. Notice what Moses says to do after you do that. After you put it in your heart. He says, take it to your children. Impress them on your children. Watch this. Talk about them the scriptures sit at home with them walk along the road with them lie down with them and get up with them talk walk lie down get up what does that equal all of those things equal what a lifestyle not only is it a lifestyle then take it and put it on the threshold of your door then cast vision for the entire house so in your going out and your coming in, this is the core to what it requires to bring your entire household and your children into the promises of God. I want you to notice this. What's the secret sauce? It's a lifestyle. Here's what I need you to take away. Here's what I need you to take away. You are the sermon that your children will see. I'd rather see a sermon than hear one any day, someone said. You are, second thing, you are the one that will teach them about who God is. Third thing, you are the one who will establish what authority is in their lives along with truth. If you don't do that, trust and believe. No children's church, no youth ministry, no summer camp can do that. And that's the secret sauce. I want you to make that a part of your walk, your life. Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 9. The crux of our faith now is transferred into our children. Hey, the Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you, give you peace. Walk with this text. Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 9. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you Friday, um, Monday. I'll get it right. I'll see you Monday with more morning manna. Have a great weekend. See you in church. Got a word for you this weekend in church as well. God bless you. Don't be greedy. Share the manna. Don't keep it to yourself. Bye now.